Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about biofouling. Biofouling. Marine biofouling commonly refer to the adverse growth of marine organisms on immersed structures such as ship hulls, jetty pilings, navigational instruments, aquaculture net cages and seawater intaking pipes. Marine and freshwater biofouling is one of the major unsolved problems currently affecting the shipping industry and industrial aquatic processes. Stages of biofouling formation First, within a minute, dissolved organic matter is absorbed onto the material surface, creating a conditioning films. Later, an hour later, a complex multi-species microbial biofilm is formed on the organic layer. After a days, secondary colonizer arrive. Frequently, they are attacked by chemicals Q produced by microbial community. Later, after a week, eventually the substrate is colonized by invertebrate larvae. Algae and invertebrates grow and develop on a community of microscopic individual. After one month, conditioning film, biofilm and macroscopic fouling starts. Coming to the surface penetration, first is the molecular fouling in which conditioning films are formed. Later, microfouling, here bacteria, microalgae, fungi are accumulated. Later, macro fouling is produced in which macro algae and invertebrates are attached. Due to distinct chemistry and biology that determine what prevent them from settling organisms are also called as hard or soft fouling type. Calcareous or hard fouling organisms include branacles, encrusting bryons, mollusks, and zebra mussels. Examples of non-calcareous fouling organisms are seaweeds and algae. Formation of macro fouling. A macro fouling community consists of either soft fouling or hard fouling may develop or overgrow the micro fouling. Soft fouling comprises algae and invertebrates such as soft corals, sponges, anemones, tunicates and hydroids. Hard fouling comprises invertebrates such as barnacles, mucels, tube worms, bryozoans and seaweeds. Effects of biofouling Biofouling causes huge material and economic loss in the maintenance of mariculture facilities, shipping facilities, vessels and seawater pipelines. Biofouling on ship is a powerful way of spreading species to new part of the world, oceans leading to bioinvasion which is now recognized as a major threat to biodiversity. In aquaculture, biofouling problems are of two types on infrastructure, immersed mesh cage and trowels and on stock organism particularly oyster and scallops. <coughs> Remedial measures of biofouling. There are three types physical method, chemical method and biological method. In case of physical method it is like manually scraping of all the biofouling material. Disadvantage of this method is that it is costly, time consuming, less effective, not easily applicable for everywhere. Chemical method. Here chemicals like TBT which is tributyltin, copper, UV radiation, chlorination and spraying of titanium alloy, alloys like 2 mole per second and even silicon elastomers for fast vessels <clears throat> disadvantages these are not organism specific biological methods several kinds of natural anti-fouling agents that inhibit growth of fouling organism have been isolated from marine organisms like bacteria marine algae and sponges diterpenes from brazilian brown algae dictyota fafi and uh, 
Vibrio biofilm formation inhibited by marine actinomycetes A66. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.